I, I don't speak any other languages, so it limits me on the players that I can represent. So when I first started my career, um, I heavily scouted the Gulf Coast League, just playing in Florida. Um, so back in 06, I had eight Latin American players that all ended up playing in the big league. I currently represent none of them. And for me, I, I, I actually made a niche in Canada, which is strange, because I, I, I've had two first rounders out of there. And uh, so Canada, United States, English speaking countries, that's what I stick to, not because of any particular reason, um, but other than the fact that I don't speak the language. And one of the workarounds on the agent side is people will say, well, why don't you hire a translator? Well, players don't want to talk to a translator, they want to talk to their agent. So a translator does not work. And uh, I, you could show me, like I, for instance, a player I don't represent, Yohan Makata. Somebody asked me, do you want to interview with him, or interview with Yohan Makata? I would not be able to do that, yeah. uh, as much as I'd like to. But as far as the game <coughs> being globalized, it's great. The more players there are, um, the, the game gets better, fans get a better product, and then agents make more money because we get better players. <laughs> yeah. Let me switch gears. Um, being a college guy, and back in Oregon, we have Oregon State. Baseball, college baseball has done a marvelous job. Uh, you're down in Florida. Yeah. It's fabulous. Um, kids coming out of high school, drafted pretty high. What's your criteria, or what's your, what do you use in your judgment recommendation? Family asks, uh, what should he do? Should he go to Florida State, or should he go? I'll start with you, Josh. Oh, I, I, I'm a big advocate of guys signing out of high school. It makes um, uh -huh. fiscal sense, because if you look traditionally at the players who excel in the major league level, not, not as a rule, but as a whole, uh, generally it's the high school guys that have the higher ceiling. So I like those prospects a lot better, and if a player is mentally ready to embark in his career, then I support that more often than going to school. Now, the, the main thing, the main takeaway of that when I, when I make that kind of recommendation is a player wants to go to college to experience college life and, and become more well-rounded in his life, and <laughs> educationally and baseball-wise, development-wise, then college is a great opportunity. But if they're going to college strictly to increase their worth, that is a scary thing because you've heard hundreds of stories of guys that have turned down X amount of dollars and end up as a $1,000 senior sign. So if the decision to go to school is solely financially motivated, that's where it gets tricky. Sylvie, let's get your opinion. And obviously, we have a scouting panel up. Uh, Dan will 